Hello team. I want to tell you a brief story about a group of girls that started a basketball team and they won a state championship. And what's remarkable about this team is that none of them knew how to play basketball. And you think, well, how, how could this, this team win a state championship? Well, when they did learn some basketball, but the way that they won is that they changed the way that they played the game. They played the game very differently. When they first started playing basketball, they had a new coach and the coach said, we're not gonna win based on talent. We're gonna win because we wanna win more than everyone else. And because we're gonna work harder than everyone else, we're gonna want it more. And we're gonna work better as a team. We're gonna do all the things that other people don't do as well and we're going to beat them at that and so what they first started doing is they started running that's what these girls started doing they ran so much that they they were basically doing like these five k's every day and so when they started playing basketball with the other with the other teams they put on a new strategy called the full court press you got this big court and there's a hoop on each side and usually when you play basketball once one team scores a basket or the other team gets the ball then they run to the other side of the court and they don't really start playing defense until they're on the other side of the court and the reason why is because it's exhausting full court press means that for the entire hour or two of this game however long it is typical high school basketball game the entire time they were glued to whoever it was that they were guarding they made them fight for every inch of that court it didn't take skill to know how to do this and to block the other person and make it difficult for them to gain any ground against them. They didn't, have, they didn't need to know how to shoot very well. And they just wore these people out. And it was so bad that the coaches on the other teams, they had never seen this before. They didn't know that that was like, they, of course it was, it, there was nothing against the rules about full court press. There was nothing against the rules that said that you couldn't just be absolutely relentless. And it wore them out. And they would usually be behind by mid, by like halfway through the game. They were behind. Why? They didn't know how to shoot the ball. Like almost none of them had ever shot a basketball. But the second half of the game, the other team was just so tired. They would just be like collapsing. And so by the time the, the, toward the end of the game happened, like it was their team, their team, they could just get so many more shots on goal. They would only make 10, 20% of their baskets, but it didn't matter because the other team was so tired, they'd basically given up. Now I look at our team and I see something that is incredible. I see a group of people from around the world that just met each other in many cases in the past month or two uh, we've, we have uh, a project manager, Paraz, in India that just started like a month ago. Um, a 14-year-old boy named Abhinav who just showed up in school and was excited about, about building apps. Um, being led by a company that was really inspired and continues to be led by this 12-year-old girl who happens to be a very lovely daughter of mine. And we have a team of people that frankly haven't even been given a chance by most of the rest of the world. And we're trying to prove that we can win. And I know we can win, but we're going to win by doing it differently. We're not gonna win by acting the same way as everybody else. We're going to win by changing the way that we play the game. And one of the ways that we're going to play this game is that we're going to help build each other and have the right kinds of values. Values like recognizing that we're spread out across the world with different cultures, different backgrounds, different sets of experiences. It doesn't matter that we're from a different culture. In fact, it's better that we have different cultures and different experiences. That's what makes us beautiful. That's what makes us powerful. You compare the nature of what we're doing 
to other kinds of teams around the world building software, we're not in the same time zone. We're in every time zone. We're different ages. We're different cultures. We all talk different, but here's why I know we're gonna win. Because we're the only team that I know of to the extreme where we are desperately searching for what other people's strengths and interests and passions are in the team. We don't need Abhinav to act like Paraz in order for us to win. We need to understand who we are and we need to understand and appreciate deeply the beauty of every single person so that we can help them find their equilibrium as we move toward trying to revolutionize education. And we know we're right because we know that the principles are right. All of the leading minds in the world that talk about education, from Elon Musk to Steve Jobs to Khan Academy to the leading ed tech entrepreneurs that I've been working with, that Sume has been working with, that we've been interviewing with, and all the kids that we've worked with. We worked with over 200 kids. We got over 400 projects. We've got kids coming in here that love learning because it's built around them, because learning by doing is right, because personalized education is the way to learn best, because it's relevant to you, because it adds value to the world, because it's analogous to success in real life. We know we're right. We just need to build the software that reflects what we already know to be true. And the way we're gonna do that is using the same principles that we learned during the pandemic when Sume first started this school by meeting up with a bunch of kids and asking them, how do you wanna learn? And what they said is, we wanna do something real and we want the things about us, the things that we're passionate about, what we do, what we like about ourselves, whatever kind of bursts of inspiration we have, we wanna be able to use that. We're tired of going to a school where we're being told what to do and forced to fit into this certain little box and everybody has to do the same thing. And it's like, it doesn't matter who you are. The teacher could just be staring at a bunch of identical faces. And usually it is around the world. It's like a bunch of white kids in this country or a bunch of black kids in this country. And sometimes they'll even go beyond that and say, ah, I got an idea. Let's make all the kids in the school even more homogenous. Only girls in this school, only Catholic girls of the exact same age. There's a good idea. Yeah, cookie cutter. Everybody's the same. No, we are not going to do that. We're not going to be a software company. We're not going to revolutionize education by having a team that reflects the same problems we've identified in the modern you know, public education system. We are diverse. We are all over the place. That is what makes us beautiful. So we're going to win, but we're going to win because we're all different and because we embrace that as a founding principle and the guiding North Star for how we build this app. And I love you all so much because of your differences. And I can't necessarily pay everybody as much as I want to, and I can't guarantee jobs for everybody, but I, I know that we're right, and I know we can win as long as we really stay true to that principle. And I'm gonna keep giving it everything I got until we do.